Alright, All right, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a relator rates problem, and this one involving baseball, as you can see. We've got my baseball diamond here. Now, uh, let's get started. A baseball diamond has a shape of a square with size 90 feet long. A player running from second base to third base at a speed of 28 feet per second is 30 feet from third base. At what rate is the player's distance s from home plate changing? Okay, so, uh, let's see. Now, the player's here, of course, uh, he's 30 feet from third base, right? Now, of course, all these sides are 90 feet, so 60 plus 30 is 90. Now, we want to see how quickly this is changing, right? So, now, let's label what we have so far. Alright, so we're going to call this B and this A. So A is equal to 30 feet. B is equal to 90 feet. Okay, it looks more like a two. Alright, <laughs> now we're going to say that DA DT is equal to 28 feet per second. Okay, because that's how quickly A is changing with respect to time. Uh, and this is A, of course, so he's running third base. Now, we want to find DC, DT. We don't know what that is. Now, this should, you know, kind of be a little bit familiar, uh, maybe. Uh, let me write one more in. We don't know what C is. Okay. So, if you look at this stuff, you, you might be able to tell what we're going to do here. Now, in related race problems, we try to find, uh, we're trying to find how quickly one quantity is changing with respect to another quantity, right? So, uh, in this case, you know how quickly the distance is changing from third uh, from 30 feet from third base, and as he's running, or she, as the case may be, you want to see how quickly this is changing. the uh, The distance between the player and home plate is changing with respect to the distance between the player and third base. Now, uh, and all with respect to time, of course. So what we want to do is find an equation that could model uh, you know, what we're doing here. Now, if you pay attention to this part, this looks like a right triangle. Now, we can have here our right triangle. Now, side A would be 30. Side B is 90. Now, what is side C? Okay, well, we want to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle, so uh, we will use the uh, the Pythagorean theorem, of course. So now that's going to give us, I believe, it's thirty radical ten. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. So now we have Pythagorean theorem. So we have. This whole thing modeled, we we know, you know what all the sides are. Uh, you know, okay. Now, how quickly is this quantity changing? Is what we want. So now we take the derivative with respect to time of this equation. So it's going to be two a d a d t plus two b d b d t is equal to 2c dc dt. Okay, let me just block that off. Okay, now we can start plugging in what we know. So we know a, just 30. We know da dt, which is uh, 28 feet per second as the problem stated. plus 2, and B is equal to 90, and B is not changing, so 
obviously, as he's running to third base and he gets to third, the D is not changing. Okay, now, uh, so D, 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 T equal to 2, C is 30, radical 10. I'll get rid of that for now. Uh, times DC DT. Okay, so now we do the computations. Let's see. Look at my calculator here so I can do it faster. Now it's going to be 1680 plus. Oh, this is zero. Forgot to put zero here. So, plus zero is equal to, uh, let's see now, two times 30 radical 10 is equal to 60 radical 10. DC, DT. All right. So now, we have to try and get DC, DT alone. So this gives us, oh, and this is, a, of course, a negative quantity. I forgot to put this negative here because this distance is, is shrinking. And uh, this distance will be shrinking also. So we need to have a negative quantity uh, at the end. Now, this is going to be uh, 1680 is equal to 60 radical 10 dc dt which is all equal to dc dt so we divide both sides by 60 radical 10 well minus pa, 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 pa. there we are 1680 divided by 60 radical 10 and let's see what that will give us. Okay, that gives us 14 radical 10 divided by 5, which is approximately equal to. Eight point eight five feet per second minus, of course. Okay, so eight point eight five feet per second is the uh, is the speed with which the distance between the player and home plate is changing. So these are not so hard uh, once you get the hang of it. And then the the main points are you have to try and you know, you know, try and draw uh, a diagram. You know, first that really helps. Then you just try to find based on the diagram. You can see, you know, basically, uh, and based on the information, of course. But you know, just both working together, you can see what equation you're gonna have to use. Find the equation, take the derivative of it, and if anything, uh, you can solve for dc dt first, and then plug everything in if you would like. But I just did it this way, but that's fine. Either way you want to do it. But I hope this helped, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.